Hey, what's up, y'all? Paul Shea here today, and uh, I'm going to be showing off my updated manga collection. I haven't done this since last year, around September, I believe. I do apologize for the lack of manga videos. I have been extremely busy with work. I still have two full-time jobs that's uh, eating up a lot of my time, and I also got into a game called Big Grand Order, and it's a lot of fun. I see myself playing this game for many years to come if the server survives in, here in America and Japan. Uh, just want to let you guys know, I'm not giving up on manga. I still love manga as much as I ever have. I still con I still will continue to do manga videos. I uh, just need to do some planning. I need to sit down and create like a game plan of what I'm going to do in the future. And I want to try something different. Uh, something different than a lot of what a lot of YouTubers are doing. So. Uh, just letting you guys know, not giving up on it. I'm still doing it, and uh, just just bear tight, or just hang tight, okay? <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, without further ado, let's begin. All right, up next we've got Seventh Garden. It's still an okay series. Uh, the artwork is fantastic. It's what got me into it. I said the same thing in my previous collection video, but. Uh, and as you can see, I had to put it on my bed here because uh, I didn't move my old shelf in my wardrobe. I am in the process of selling my house, so that's why I'm just cleaning out a bunch of stuff right here. And as you can see, I had to put a lot of my mangas from my first shelf into those four boxes right there. Up next, we've got 20, or 20th Century Boys, the complete series, volumes 1 all the way through volumes 22. And... It's a sequel, 21st Century Boys, Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, this is an amazing series done by Naoki Urasawa. And a lot of people say that this is a masterpiece. I'm going to stand by what I said in my previous video. This, I, don't, I, I respectfully disagree that this is not a masterpiece. Uh, honestly, I think Monster is Urasawa's masterpiece. Up next we have Aiyori Aoshi, Volumes 1 through 17 the complete series uh, this is a very old etchy harem series and it is one of the very first couple manga that i ever collected when i was much younger and it's done by tokyo pop as you know that they have gone bust and these are very out of print uh, you can say what you want about this series i mean not a lot of people like etchy harm in general but uh this place or, or excuse me this manga series uh, was oh, I thought it was amazing when I first read it. I didn't know what Etchy Harm was, and I and I was just you know I was I was a little kid who just didn't know any better. I said, "Holy crap! There's a lot of tits and <laughs> there's a lot of tits and other stuff in there." Anyway, uh, I was just it was I was just being silly, and I liked this series for what it is. It was an enjoyable read for me. Up next, we have Air Gear, Volume is One, all the way to 37. Excuse me, 36. Uh, the last, the last final volume is about to, uh, is actually about to be published this month and holy shit, it has taken forever for this series to be completed because I remember, I remember the first volume was released way back in 2007, 2008 and it has taken forever for this series to, uh, be finished and I'm surprised that Kodansha, uh, didn't kill off this series and continue to publish it here in North America. Anyways, this is a this is another old series, kind of old series that I picked up. I mean, a long time ago when I was still in high school, and uh, I enjoy I enjoy the series for what it you know for what it provides. It's a really weird air skating, or excuse me, it's a really really weird skateboarding or skating uh, series manga series with a lot of shenanigans and a lot of BSs. It's really fun, and I think. And uh, what really got me into this was the the one who actually got who created this series. His name is O Great, and he's arguably one of the one of the best illustrators in the manga industry. And uh, volumes one through eighteen, or excuse me, seventeen, as you can see here, is out of print, or at least the single volume editions, because they were originally published by Del Rey, which was a subsidiary of Kodansha. However, Kodansha for some reason absorbed Delray and now it's published under the Kodansha name. So they did re-release 
they did really re they, they did re-release the original 17 volumes in these really fat ugly omnibuses so I didn't bother you know I didn't bother trying to get the new series or get the new the new volumes since I'm pretty picky about it up next we have Ajin volumes 1 through 11 up to date it is a very solid seinen manga series. Uh, I need to reread this again because it's been a while since I've read it. I haven't read volumes 11, volume 11 yet. Uh, the, this series particularly is taking its time being released and I, there's really nothing you can do about it. Uh, I know there was a, a CGI adaptation of it, which was okay in my opinion. But if you're looking for something pretty dark, really gruesome, and if you're looking forward to see a very well written villain. Check this series out. Up next we have The Ancient Magus Bride, volumes 1 through 8. Oops. <laughs> volumes 1 through 8 up to date. This is a this is an amazing fantasy manga series. And the anime adaptation that was recently uh, that recently aired was amazing as well. I believe I believe this series I believe the series is almost over. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if you are looking for something that is, uh, it's a very good, uh, looking for a very good slice of life fantasy series, do check this out. Up next we have the Arpeggio of Blue Steel volumes one through 12 up to date. It's a series about a bunch of these super powered battleship with these extremely intelligent AIs that form in the form in the shape of girls for some reason but uh, I like it for what it is it's an enjoyable read uh, it's not for everybody but uh, I like what I've read so far I'm not sure if this series is about to end um, from what I've read it looks like it's getting towards the end or nearing its end who knows Ayoko uh, a very solid series a uh, very solid manga done by Osama Tezuka himself and I'm not sure if this is out of print. Uh, worth, definitely worth checking out. You should uh, probably hop on it before it goes out of print because it is put out by Vertical and a lot of Vertical stuff go out of print. Battle Angel Alita Volumes 1 through 3 in these high quality omnibus put out by Kodansha. I, did have, I used to have the original series that was originally published by Viz Media but unfortunately I lost it. And if you try to get the original series put out by Viz Media online. They are very expensive, very out of print, and just not worth getting. I did wish that Kodansha made the spine and the back cover match the front, but I, it's, it's just a minor complaint that I'm not gonna let it bother me too much. Battle Royale, the complete series, volumes one through five in these high quality Ultimate Edition omnibuses that was once put out by Tokyo Pop, and of course they went bust. And these are all out of print and very hard to come by, especially these last two volumes. This one particularly, running around I think 600 bucks online. But anyways, proud owner of this series. This is an amazing series, a very violent, very gory, very graphic series, which shocked me when I was much younger. But uh, I'm glad that I have this series. It's a very, it's a very awesome series to have. I did recently see the live action. The live action adaptation on Netflix and steer clear from that it's complete garbage up next we have the king of all sane in berserk volumes 1 all the way to 38 which is up to date and this really needs no introduction it is currently and still is my favorite manga of all time I mean it's kind of a generic answer a lot of people say that this is their favorite series of all time which you really can't blame it. It shouldn't be any. It shouldn't be surprising. It's just an absolutely fantastic, amazing series, which I do truly consider this a masterpiece, despite it being not completed. Uh, I do have the original first edition that was put out by Dark Horse a long time ago. Unfortunately, the spines. Oh, let me focus for a bit. Crap. Unfortunately, the spine is a little different, and I'm not sure what the hell Dark Horse is doing, but it is typical Dark Horse to just, you know, screw things up. 
I'm not sure. Now, as for the state of Berserk, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if Kentaro Miura is on hiatus again. We'll never know. All I know is that this series is going to take forever to finish. Black God Volumes 1 through 19 complete series. A very underrated and very good martial arts series that I don't see a lot of people have in their collection video. Highly recommend you guys to give this a shot. Black, uh, Black Lagoon Volumes 1 through 10 up to date. Uh, I I know he's writing chapters again, Ray Hiore, but I'm not sure when the 11th volume is coming out. Volumes 1 through 5, in these uh, high quality 3 in 1 omnibuses of Blade of the Immortal. Very awesome old school samurai series. Bokurano Volumes 1 through 11, uh, a really messed up dark deconstruction mecha, genre, uh, mecha series. Uh, really not for the faint of heart because there's a lot of shocking things in it, but I still enjoyed it. Batoon Volumes 1 through 21 up to date. The series is over in Japan and uh, it's only a matter of time before it finishes here. I, uh, I like Batoon, I like Battle Royale, I like Battle Royale genre. I, um, it's just enjoyable to me. Children of the Whales Volumes 1 through 4. Great new series being put out by Viz Media. Citrus Volumes 1 through 7. Unfortunately, the series uh, has kind of lost me a little bit. I've lost some interest in it because I feel like there's no progression in it. But I will just stick with it for a while. I'll just stick for stick with it for a little bit, see if it progresses. Uh, Dead Dead Demons Digi Destruction. Try saying that fast 10 times. Uh, a new series being put out by Inio Sano. I haven't read this yet because I just got this in the mail recently. I uh, heard it, a lot of good things about it so far. Doro Hidoro volumes 1 through 22 up to date. I think from what based on from what I've read in the 22nd volume, I think this series is almost over. Fate Zero volumes 1 through zero, uh, excuse, excuse me, 1 through 5 up to date. Dark Horse is taking their sweet time releasing this and this manga adaptation is finished over there in Japan. One of my favorite, actually probably one of my favorite anime series of all time and one of, and the Fate franchise is one of my favorite franchises. The Flowers of Evil volumes 1 through 11, uh, one of the craziest things I've ever read, uh, but I still enjoyed it. Food Wars volumes 1 through 24 up to date. Uh, got a, I kind of have a minor issue with this new logo here on their spines. I don't know why they couldn't keep it the same for their ongoing series. Uh, really good, solid sh uh, battle shonen series about cooking food and having a lot of etchy stuff in it, which is kind of funny. Gantz Volumes 1 through 37, a complete series uh, done by Hido, excuse me, uh, Hidoya Oku, and this is a very bizarre sci-fi action series. And it's these are out of print, but you can get the three-in-one editions that Dark Horse is about to put out if you can be patient with them. The God's Lie, a very good, uh, solid one-shot. Golden Comedy Volumes One Through Five, uh, amazing new series uh, that takes place after the the Russian-Japanese Sino War. Unfortunately, the anime adaptation is not that great. It's not bad per se, but it's just. The quality of the animation is not good, and I wish a studio like Madhouse or Production IG took the helms of it. Good Night Poon Poon, Volumes 1 through 7, complete series of probably uh, Inio Asano's best manga that he's ever written in his magnum opus. Great Teacher Onizuka, Volumes 1 through 25, in these original Tokyo Pop single volumes. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best mangas I've ever read, and it's what I would consider a masterpiece. And it is the funniest thing I've ever read in my entire life, too. So, if you ever have the chance of getting this online for a good deal, I suggest that you take it. Gunsmith Cats Volumes 1 through 4 in these 2 in 1 omnibus, and the, its sequel, Gunsmith Cats Burst Volumes 1 through 5. Uh, Gunsmith Cats Burst. Unfortunately had a very disappointing ending, so I'm just pretending that the these five volumes are not canon But this is one of my favorite old-school 90s Manga series put out by Dark Horse And of course these are very out of print and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm very proud to own these Helsing volumes 1 through 10 another very out of print series a proud owner of them very a classic classic vampire manga and 
uh, which spawned two anime adaptations that were both good in my opinion. HP Lovecraft's The Hound and Other Stories. It's a manga adaptation done by Gotanabe. I'm a huge fan of Lovecraftian horror and HP Lovecraft novels. So if you like his stuff, you should definitely check this out. It's an interesting manga adaptation. I Am a Hero Volumes 1 through 6 in these uh, two in one omnibuses. And this series is finished over there in Japan. I'm, and I have no idea why Dark Horse is taking their sweet time releasing this. It's just going to take forever. But arguably one of the best zombie mangas out there. Ikigami Volumes 1 through 10, the complete series. A solid Seinen series that I uh, highly suggest you guys to give it a shot. Immortal Hound Volumes 1 through 6. A solid new series being put out by Vertical. Inuyashiki Volumes 1 through 10, another series put out by Hidoya Oku. It is a complete series, and it's a, a very good sci-fi uh, manga series that I think is slightly better than Gantz. Yormagan Volumes 1 through 11, complete series. This volume particularly is horribly out of print. It's running around $200 to $500 for some reason. Kaguya-sama Love is War, a very interesting new series being put out by Viz Media. It's about these two, it's about this boy and girl who play a game where whoever falls in love with each other first loses, so it's pretty interesting. Kakegurui Volumes 1-5, through five, uh, pretty interesting gambling manga ha that features a lot of crazy facial expressions. Land of the Lustrious Volumes 1-5, through five, up to date. I know I have promised to make a recommendation video for this. Uh, I'm still trying to find time. But other than that, this is an amazing manga that uh, manga series about these living gems trying to defend themselves against these aliens that come from the moon. Lone Wolf and Cub, volumes 1 through 28, the complete series in these original OG old school Dark Horse volume formats. And this is an amazing uh, old school samurai series and the only issue I have with this is that it is it, you have to put a little bit of effort into reading it because the texts are kind of small. Volumes 1 through 7 of Lord Marksman and Vanidus. This is a guilty pleasure of mine and I enjoy it for what it is. Love Hina Volumes 1 through 14. It's another guilty pleasure of mine and this is one of the very first few series I had collected back when I was a teenager. I recently purchased this because I lost uh, I lost my copy a long time ago and I found someone online who sold it for a good deal. Made in the Abyss Volumes 1 and 2. I am very aware of how, uh, how critically acclaimed and how much praise that the anime is getting. Unfortunately, uh, it was locked behind a double paywall and I refuse to give Amazon a penny. I understand that Amazon Strike is dead, or a Anime Strike is dead, but uh, for for that crap that anime uh, that Amazon tried to pull, I'm not going to give them. I'm not going to give them a cent. So, uh, Magical Girls Spec Ops Volumes One and Two. This is a interesting dark Magical Girls series that uh, Seven Seas is putting out. I did a recommendation video. I'll link. I'll link it in the description below, so go ahead and check it out, and perhaps maybe that'll give you some uh, some interest or, uh, or the push to read this. Mobile Suit Gundam, The Origin, Volumes 1-12 through 12 in these absolutely gorgeous, high-quality hardcovers. Uh, this is probably the, probably the best quality volume that we're ever going to get, and I have no idea if, if these are out of print. I wouldn't be surprised if they are, and some of them, if some of them are going to be running for about 100 bucks a piece. But a uh, proud owner of this series, it's just this is just a spectacle to have. Mobile Suit Gundam Volumes One, oh, excuse me, Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt Volumes One through Seven up to date. Uh, this is a a really good, another good Mobile Suit Gundam manga series, and illustrates the darker aspects of war and tragedy. Monster Volumes 1 through 9. Uh, now, this is in my opinion Naoki Urasawa's masterpiece and a whole lot better than 20th Century Boys. Highly recommend you guys to get this because this because these are actually high quality themselves and uh, this is just this is just uh, this is just an amazing series to have. 
Monster Musume Volumes 1 to 13. Again, this is probably one of my biggest guilty pleasures, and I'm not ashamed to have this at all. Volumes 1 through 6, a very weird, Yuri, uh, violent Yuri action series. Volumes 1 through 13 of My Hero Academia, up to date. Really needs no introduction. This is currently one of the best Shonen Jump series that is going on. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, uh, one of my favorite Hayao Miyazaki anime films and manga series. These are the original single volume editions. Neon Genesis Evangelion uh, volumes 1 through 14 in these high quality omnibuses. As a huge fan of Neon Genesis Evangelion, the anime, uh, I wanted to get this as part of the collection. Unfortunately, I don't have the anime itself because those are out of print. No Longer Human, Volumes 1 through 3, one of the most depressing things I've ever read, but uh, after reading it, it's made me appreciate my life a lot more. It's a, Again, this is another series that's very out of print, and I did have to shell out a couple extra dollars for this. Noragami Volumes 1 through 18, a very solid shonen series that I, I'm not sure if it's on hiatus or not, but it's taken forever for Kodansha to release them. Oh My God is Volumes 1 through... 48 that is put out by Dark Horse. These are the original single volumes put out by them a long time ago And this is one of my one of my old-school favorites. Uh, it's a fun series to read Or it was a fun series to read one piece volumes one all the way through 86 and this is the only quote-unquote big three I have I, I I have nothing against the two. I don't have anything against Bleach or Naruto, but I have never liked those two series. Or Naruto, I just completely lost interest after the first season ended, or the first part ended. One Punch Man volumes one through 13. I really no need to, for me to explain about this series, but I will say that uh, I don't like this series as much as I did when I first got into it, but I still like, but now I still, you know, enjoy One Punch Man. People Chew Volumes 1 through 3, complete series. It is a manga, a short manga series that is created by an American mangaka named Felipe Smith. It's a very weird, bizarre, and violent manga series that is kind of hard to explain. It, it does, it talks about a lot of misunderstanding between American and Japanese culture. And Volume 3, for, for some reason, is very out of print. Volumes 1 through 12 of Phoenix. This is, uh, this is one of my only Osama Tezuka series that I own, and prob this, is, this series is probably the rarest and the most out of print series that I uh, have in my possession, and I'm absolutely proud to own this. If, if you're trying to get this series, I mean, you, unfortunately, you have no choice but to fork up a fortune for it, because apparently each of these volumes are running around $300 to $600. So if you have, I don't know, $10,000 in your pocket and you're willing to drop all that kind of money for this, go for it. Planet Volumes 1 and 2 complete series. A uh, short series done by Makoto Yukimura, who is the creator of Vinland Saga. A very solid short story. And if you're not looking for uh, a huge commitment, give this a shot. Volumes 1 through 5 of Platinum End. Eh, it's kind of a mess series, but the artwork is amazing. Pluto Volumes 1 through 8, complete series, a reimagining of Astro Boy done by Naoki Urasawa. Uh, it's a good series, definitely check it out. Prison School Volumes 1 through 10, up to date. The series is over in Japan, but uh, I'm staying away from forum discussions to prevent myself from getting spoiled. But this is a hilarious manga series that is almost just as funny as Great Teacher Onizuka, just absolutely ridiculous. The Promised Neverland Volumes 1 through 4 up to date. Another great new series that is uh, currently being published by Shonen Jump over there in Japan. And I look forward to reading more of it. Again, with these new spines. I uh, I don't know why Viz Media just couldn't stick with these old ones right here with this white box. Rakia Volumes 1 through 5 complete series. Uh, pretty interesting, weird, uh, kind of crazy religious manga that is illustrated by a Korean illustrator and he's one of the best illustrators in my uh, opinion. His name is Boichi. Volumes 1 through 5 
excuse me, volumes one through 10 of Rosario and Vampire of the first season, and one through 14 of the second season. This is uh, one of the best Echi Harum series uh, that's out there in my opinion, sorry about that. And especially the second season, which gets surprisingly dark and very, very serious. Scum's Wish, volumes one through seven. Shaman Warrior Volumes 1 through 8, uh, which is a Korean manhwa. Uh, very out of print, but I managed to find someone online for a very good deal. A Silent Voice 1 through 7. One of the best manga series I've ever read. It's about a bully who goes through, uh, who, go, who goes on the path of redemption. Highly recommend you guys to check it out. Just give this a shot. Slam Dunk Volumes 1 all the way to 31 complete series. This is arguably my arguably my favorite sports manga of all time. Uh, a lot of people suggested to me to read Ice Shield 21. I have already read Ice Shield 21. Unfortunately, I, I didn't really like it as much as I wanted to, which is kind of funny because I am a huge football fan and I wouldn't say I, I don't outright dislike basketball, but I really have had no interest in basketball. But this is definitely uh, one. Of, this is just definitely one of the best sports manga I ever read. <clears throat> Volumes one through fifteen, uh, Spice and Wolf, the manga adaptation. I'm very well aware of that. The <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little sick. I'm very well aware that the light novel is uh, critically acclaimed. However, I'm not a light novel reader. I'm a manga reader, so I prefer this. Spirit Circle Volumes one through three, a uh, very good complete series that you can read uh, all on Crunchyroll and I'm glad that Seven Seas picked it up. Salonen, very solid one shot, uh, or actually it's a two in one in this high quality omnibus put out by Viz Media. Really good short story done by Ine Osano. And here we have, we have uh, Horikita Suzune from uh, Classroom of the Elite. Tales of Wedding Rings Volumes 1 and 2, uh, a really silly, etchy harem series that I enjoy. Tenjo Tenge Volumes 1 through 11 complete series. This was originally censored by a company called CMX, and in response, all the uh, all the manga readers boycotted that company, and they eventually went out of business. And Viz Media was gracious enough to rescue the series and re-release it in its absolute uncensored glory. So props to them. Really, uh, yeah. Screw censorship. <clears throat> Volumes one through five. There's a demon lord on the floor. A very fun read that I thought was uh, gonna be a little stupid, but it actually turned out to be a lot more enjoyable than, than I thought. <clears throat> to Your Eternity, Volumes one through four. A, an absolutely amazing brand new series that it, uh, is written and illustrated by the same creator of uh, A Silent Voice. You give this a shot. I, I cannot recommend this enough. Trigun's Volume 1 and 2, and its sequel, Trigun Maximum Volumes 1 through 14. Great classic, old school series to have. Anime adaptation was great. Uh, I grew up with that when I was a young kid, and collecting this was actually what this was actually one of my first few uh, Dark Horse series that I collected when I was way younger. Trinity 7 Volumes 13, a very fun, silly, etchy harm series that's just kind of a uh, guilty pleasure of mine, but I'm proud to own. Ubel Blot uh, Volume 0 to Volumes 9. Uh, a lot of people like to compare this to Berserk, which in my opinion, it's more of a watered down version of Berserk. And uh, I like it. Uh, I know not a lot of people do, but I like it. Until Death Do Us Part Volumes 1 through 13, the complete series. I'm, so I'm actually pretty surprised that I don't see this in a lot of people's collection video because this is actually a, a very solid seinen series that uh, you should definitely give it a shot. It's illustrated by a Korean illustrator and written by a Japanese uh, writer, so pretty interesting stuff. <clears throat> Uzumaki, my only Junji Ito works, or his only Junji Ito, uh, only, my only Junji Ito manga, and I love this so much because this is, uh, this was, this was, a. Uh, largely inspired from HP Lovecraft or Lovecraftian horror. So um, that's the reason why I got this, even though I'm not you know, too, too big into horror. Volumes one through 37 up to date of Vagamon in these single volume editions. The single volume editions are out of print, but you can get the, uh, the three in one Viz Big editions. 
I have no idea when Takehiko Inoue is going to write chapters again, but for now it's in, it's kind of in limbo, unfortunately. Volumes 1 through, excuse me, Finland Saga Volumes 1 through 10, uh, probably a near masterpiece in my opinion, and I am really glad that Kodansha has not killed this series. Uh, they have been very close to canceling this several times. I really wish that they gave this series a whole lot more love than they did with that shitty series, Fairy Tale. Wandering Island, uh, a really good one-shot, which I thought was a one-shot, but actually, apparently, the second volume is coming out. Uh, I'm not sure when. Welcome to the Ballroom, a uh, really solid <laughs> ballroom dancing manga, which I didn't think I was going to like, but I ended, up, uh, I ended up enjoying a lot more than I anticipated. <clears throat> Welcome to the NHK Volumes 1 through 7. This is an incomplete series. I'm missing Volume 8, and apparently Volume 8 is very out of print, so I'm gonna try to find on, I'm gonna try to look online to try to find a decent deal to get it, but I read this series a long time ago when, I, when Tokyo Pop was still around and when I was a teenager, and it was, uh, it was a very good, it was a very good manga series that I enjoyed, and I decided to repurchase them on Right Stuff, which they had a pretty good deal for it. So yeah, I'll have to find Volume 8 some, I mean, sometime soon. Yona of the Dawn Volumes 1 through 12, probably the best shoujo manga I have read, and I'm not really big into shoujo, but um, you don't have to be a shoujo fan, I do recommend this. And in the last two we have Yuna and the Haunted Springs Volumes 1 and 2, uh, a very fun, silly, etchy harm series that I have a guilty pleasure of. Alright, let's go through my anime collection. Mob Psycho 100, the complete series. Uh, a very fun series that is created by One, who is the creator of One Punch Man. Honestly, I think this show is a lot better than One Punch Man, that's just my opinion. Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphans. Uh, a really good Mobile Suit Gundam series that I enjoy when it first aired. Funimation is about to put out the second part real soon. Samurai Shampoo, a very fun old school Manglobe show, which unfortunately they're no longer around. Shimonetta, a fun etchy series that I thought was going to be garbage. Uh, the Seven Deadly Sins, a complete series. Yu Yu Hakusho, the complete series. An amazing old school shonen series. And probably one of, probably Piro, Studio Piro's best anime adaptation because I honestly think Studio Piro is garbage. Psycho Pass, an amazing series uh, done by or directed by, directed and written by Gen Uro Butcher. Steins Gate, one of my favorite animes of all time. Bento, a fun guilty pleasure show of mine. Michiko and Hachin, a very good show directed by Saya Yomamoto. Prison School, I mean, really need, needs no introduction right here. Monster Musume, yeah, probably my biggest guilty pleasure. We have Fuse right here, which is an anime film that I purchased online for 10 bucks. That's the reason why I got it. I have not seen this, but I have seen previews of this movie and it looks amazing. So from what I've seen, it, lo it looks like an Ayakashi or Yokai movie. We got One Punch Man, of course. Fate Zero, the complete series. Uh, this is the limited edition that I found online for a crazy good deal because I never purchase Aniplex products at full price because they are the biggest they are the biggest ripoff deals of all time. Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt December Sky. This is arguably Sunrise's best anime at uh, best Mobile Suit Gundam anime. We have Mary and the Witch's Flower, a very amazing Ghibli-esque movie. Not I wouldn't say it's it, it's as amazing as the old school uh, Studio Ghibli movies, but this is as close as it, it gets. Uh, I, I do highly recommend you guys to check this movie out. It's an amazing movie. Princess Mononoke, my favorite Hayao Miyazaki movie of all time. And finally, we got Full Metal Panic, the original first season, and Full Metal Panic, the second ray, which is its sequel. And this is one of my favorite anime of all time, and one of my favorite series of all time. It it's basically a huge mashup of all all different genres put together, and uh, the current anime that's airing right now is amazing as well. 
and I don't know, and I, based on the pacing that the anime add up, the new anime that's going on right now, I know where it's going to end, and basically it's not the end of the series, so it does, it does make me wonder if they're going to be, if there's going to be another season of it, and you have to kind of ask yourself, what is the point of having that anime adaptation 13 years after this season ended, and this came out in 2004, 2005, so... I do highly recommend you guys to get this. This is, I, I'm telling you, it's an amazing series. Uh, this was originally licensed by ADV or uh, Namkai, or excuse me, Bandai Visual. I am not sure. It's, it's either one of those two. They went bust, unfortunately, during the anime crash in the late 2000s. And Funimation rescued the series. So definitely get, uh, I highly recommend you guys to get this. Well, fellas, that's all I got today. Thanks for watching this video. If you watched it all the way to the end, I do appreciate it. Uh, leave some comments down below if you have any questions or if you uh, want to give me any recommendations, whether it be video games, anime, manga, you name it. Just let me know uh, in the comments below. And I'll try to come up with new manga ideas. I I just need to find time. I've been super busy with work. So again, apologize for that. Other than that, you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Take care.